This is for heaven. Um... What it is, or what's up? That's your video in the cut. I'm at the point in the night where I start watching Asian women do ASMR, and that's when I know it's getting to be too late. So uh, I had to hurry to get this going. Um, Baruto, chapter 8. One of the all time great series. Boruto. Fire as hell. Everybody loves Boruto, right? Anyway, um, in seriousness, though, Boruto has been on a great run recently. Boruto has been on a great run recently, dropping straight fire since the uh, time skip. And in that, I really am at a point now where I'm willing to say I feel confident they can't do too horribly. Like, they might have a slow patch. I'm okay with them having some chapters that are a little bit slower. I'm fine with that. But I don't think they can really mess this up at this point. Like, it'd be hard. Hopefully it's not drawn out. That's the only thing I could see that'd be a potential fail case. Is if they draw it out. So I don't see that much meat on the bones. Like, this seems to me to be like a... Two to three year type series. Like, I, I don't think this should be like a... A, a Naruto Shippuden type length. But... He might have a lot of, you know, I never doubt Toriyama, you know, or RP, Kishimoto. Uh, never doubt at Kishimoto. You gotta, you gotta have faith that he knows what he's doing. And, um, we're getting to a point in the power levels where I'm like, we kind of have to kind of slow it down a little bit. Because, like, Boruto is basically, like, way stronger than, like, any human being in basically a Naruto verse at this point. Uh, I mean, the only people that can really, like, I think handily beat him are these things, the Divine Tailwood Beast, and possibly Damon and, um, Ida. But, but that's it. <laughs> There's, like, not a lot of people that can reasonably, like, raise his level of performance. So, I don't have to think that with the power levels being at a rough ceiling, that probably the story can't go much further i mean this is a story that's pretty much centered around power so i don't know but we'll see uh it doesn't matter or to um mac miller i mean flashes illustrious uh faces miss tape on at this point in the editing process uh let me close out the dragon ball super that probably was what slope you know doing the dragon ball super uh, there but let's go ahead and get into it this is probably going to be a continuation of last chapter where uh, Big Daddy Divine Toad Beast was telling Sasuke Toad Beast, like, we need to go go meet Naruto and see what he's hitting on. So this is Ida watching the uh, Boruto and Mitsuki's story. Oh, she has feelings now for Boruto. He's going to be her son, too. So you got the supercharged Delta, uh, Kawaki, and Ida. Oh, she's going to sell on, Mits, uh, on Kawaki. She's not going to go uh, go for it. Damn. What's your real attitude towards Dear Ida? You're pissing me off. I think Damon is... I think Damon is fairly apt, I want to say. I feel like that's something that... I think he's a little bit smarter about the relationship and dynamics than we give him credit for with him being a kid. Um... I think she's going to give him a wrong, loca uh, wrong location, I believe. Let's go, Delta. It's crazy, like, we have flying characters just routinely able to fly. Like, nothing. So, yeah, Baruto and Kawaki are, as we've all always known, the kind of high priority uh, suspects or priorities. Moegi. It's happened to us regardless of age or gender. What's up with that? For what purpose? I'm not sure yet. How much do you actually know? He's asking. He's sitting here like, oh, this dude's just... This one, it's a little bit suspect and is filling the gaps. Which I, I do think that Boruto, like, most of what he knows probably came from either Sasuke or Kashi and Koji. I don't think there's too much that, like... He's experienced himself that he is aware of. So Shikamaru's being tapped by, um... Uh, Kawaki. Dude, did, get that Smoothie King in you before eat, uh, doing a video, man. It's too much. Alright. I have another transmission via the sensory unit. 
any words this convo will be overheard. You'll only be you'll be the only one who can hear both of them. Hmm. Okay. She's very confident. Now that being said, I mean our guy Kawaki is a karma user. He may have some kind of power. We'll see. Uh, okay, apology sensor unit passion through, yes sir. So I think that message came from somebody other than Eno. Cause, yeah, I mean, because he said Eno, like, patch me in privately. Okay. I just pinpointed Barto's location. Okay. Southern Woodlands, what could he be doing there? I think she gave him a bogus location. Delta and Kowaki. Wait for backup. He does show Shikamaru with some respect, even though it may be kind of feigned, but Mr. Shika. Later, the word ain't all be touched. Barto got the hell out of there. So I guess Barto could... Well, I think what Shikamaru did... Any words to this convo will be overheard. It's all depending on what he meant here. My interpretation is that he meant that... Boruto, his conversation with Shikamaru, but no, that wouldn't really make sense with it because he's okay. He's referring to this trans this transmission from the sensory unit, which came, from, you know, came from them. It's about Kawaki. Any words just come over overheard. Every transmission is individual. You're the only one that that can hear both of them. Okay. I my only thought process is either I a. Boruto can hear Shikamaru, but Kawaki and Boruto can't hear each other. Or Shikamaru's asking Eno, are both these conversations entirely separate? And Shikamaru's chat with Kawaki should be private from Boruto. And if that's the case, that means Boruto is somehow able to overhear or just had an intuition that Kawaki and Shikamaru were talking. Um Either he's able to overhear, or he just had the intuition. But either way, he caught wind to their chat. Which could have some pretty big implications for Boruto's ability. If he could overhear an entirely private transmission that Shikamaru and the sensory unit were having. That'd be big implications. But I'm just going to assume that it was, it was a conversation where basically Shikamaru can talk to either of those two, but they can't hear each other. That's my interpretation. In any case, Boruto um, he had an inkling. He got out of there. Shikamaru was just kind of stone faced. He didn't say anything, you know. So let me get to this point where they're at. Where they're at. I haven't found Aura once. It's got to be the same for him. He vanished before he perceived me. I'm going to assume that it was the right location that Ida gave him. But Boruto dipped after getting wind from Shikamaru. That's going to be my interpretation here. But this is obviously like a suspect moment. Like Kawaki's like playing his head. Like Shikamaru, did you kind of like just kind of just diddle me there? Uh, we have Mitsuki who came back. Hope I'm not intruding. Yo, was he mad? I don't like that they... <laughs> I, I'm not even going to point it out. If you see it, you see it. There's just one part of one of these panels on this page currently that is a little bit more detail than I'd like in this type of manga. There's some mangas where, like, there's a, a character that is okay to be a little bit more show-offish with, but um, it's just a, it's a very minor detail, but one that I would notice. In... One of the panels on these two pages that I'm a little bit like that may be a little bit too far. And then when you've had some of the moments of complaints that they've had in this series so far, there was one major one that uh, happened with um, Sasuke's daughter that um, a lot of people were not fans of. Let's just say that. So if you remember that moment I'm talking about with, with uh, Asara Dog, then you'll probably realize like, the detail I'm referring to in these two pages. But it's just something that I might have... I would like a little bit more, a little bit less detail there if I could help it. But, and if I'm the one asking for less detail in this respect, then 
I got a background. Let's just say that uh, as being a little bit of a, a nasty guy. But you know, this is this is a little, this is nasty. This is too much, too much, too much. Anyway, so at this point, hard to say. He told me to find you, but it was simply to locate Baruto. He flew off as soon as he did, or as I did. Um, he doesn't give much of a shit about Mitsuki. Uh, saying that doesn't that make you sad? Not really. That itself does not matter to me. That's what I felt for quite some time. We're going to get introspective uh, Mitsuki here. I had a, up until I met you, and I've never known the emotion of love. <laughs> Are you hitting on me? <laughs> That'd be a waste of your time. <laughs> so, what the fuck? <laughs> no, I know it's false as a result of your ability. Rather, I'm thinking you. For if it wasn't for you, I may have gone through life without ever experiencing this splendid emotion. I wonder if it's because I'm an artificial person created from scratch. It's not just love. I don't really understand who I even am. I'm kind of liking this Misky writing these last few chapters, dude. And yeah, I didn't think it mattered as long as I had a son who continuously illuminated me. You could even say that most things didn't matter to me, including me and myself. Is he about to do something crazy? What is Misky about to do here? But I was wrong. Even most things didn't matter to me, including me, myself. But I was wrong. This reminds me of, um... It's a James Blake song. I'm gonna try to edit it here in post-edit, post but, uh... It's, it's a moment. Uh, it's a lyric that reminds me of this. I'm not gonna limber on it too long and just kind of sit here and wait, but... It's basically something crazy. If I don't bother to give myself affirmation first, I'll lose sight of who my son is. But the most important thing is for I've been aware of it. And Boruto made you realize this. That's great. He's gonna like reflect this on Ida in her own like kind of mind state. This might be a bit presumptuous of me, but I think we are similar. Yeah, that's what I figured. I don't know why I love Kawaki. But that's what love is. Your chest tightens just thinking about him. It doesn't really matter why it happens. It's a really fire writing by Kishimoto here. And Ikimoto, but it's kind of fire. You simply can't comprehend that because my ability caused you to experience false love. You might be right. It's just I was scared. I mean, I realized that who I thought of as my son may not be so I didn't fear losing it. I mean, they're all aware that she can see every moment, you know, so... It makes sense that he's not even bothered with false pretenses here. Just being honest. So I stopped thinking about whether or not the song's a real thing. You're saying I'm just saying I'm a foolish girl who's in love with being in love. I didn't mean it like that. Sorry, I guess I was being presumptuous. Maybe, but can I be blunt with you? We're talking about love right now. Talk about drama. <laughs> this is this is this is this is what made Naruto. Like, this dialogue right here, it's okay to have, like, you know, fourth Ninja World War arc. You have Obito um, has Kakashi stab him to, you know, basically get the seal off of him. You have Naruto uh, speed blitzing the fourth Raikage. Uh, Kurama against Sasuke with this Indra arrow. I mean, all these big-ass moments that were just flashy as hell, cool to watch, all that stuff. That's amazing. You need that in the shonen, especially in the end game of a shonen. But it just small little breadcrumbs like this dialogue, character development. That's what made OG Naruto OG Naruto. That's what made you care about dudes who obviously were not going to be as powerful as the season progressed. You weren't going to have like Sakura scale to Sharon gone, Rasengan, um. I mean, all of these busted powers to sound for, like, these, you know, Sakura, Eno, Shikamaru, like, these dudes are not going to scale power-wise to, to these big bads by a certain point. But the thing is, since you had so much stock invested in the characters over years of just small bits of dialogue, you still cared even they were not as strong. The problem with Shippuden is that for Shippuden, power meant relevancy, not, like character strength or character involvement like but yeah I mean, you have some moments where you have like shikamaru helping you know shikamaru basically getting an entire you know 
more or less like arc, a little mini arc with a hit on. You have like, I, I think uh, Sheena, she, Sheena, Sheena, right? She knows somebody helped her with the with Kakuzu. Um, I think maybe in Kiva too. I mean, you know, Neji has a big moment in the fourth ninja, but like, it, it's too far and few between. There's too like few moments of dialogue that really sit there and just make you think. From now on, like Naruto, Sasuke, like massive power characters. I'm not saying that I think this is going to be going forward. I don't think Mitsuki's going to have like two chapters that are basically like him leading the the plot movement. Like, I don't think it's going to happen like for most of the series. And I don't think like you know he, Ino Cho. I think that's I don't know what her name is. The the fat black one. Um, I don't think she's going to have like a massive movement. Like, I don't think it's, we're never going to get back to the point where like they had. You know, the team getting from Naruto's era and virtually almost everybody from that had very huge moments. Like, we're not going to get back to that. That's just not going to happen. It's not feasible at this point. And in a monthly format, it's definitely not feasible. Like, you just cannot. If you were to do that, this series is going for like another 15 years. Like, to to replicate the development that, you know, Hinata, um, Neji, um, uh, Kiba, Lee, so forth and so forth. I mean, you get to the sand dudes. Like, I mean, even Tamar got some moments. Um, Kaku's not Kaku's, um, Gara's brother. You know what I'm talking about. I, I forgot his fucking name, but uh, Gara. I mean, all these dudes, all of those guinea level guys get so much development. It's impossible in a monthly format to do that. You have to pick who you can really develop. And I would be okay. Sarda, um, my guy here. Uh, the class president, uh, Kashi Koji, uh, even Amato and his daughter. Like, I I'm okay with those guys getting moments. Like, that's fine with me. I don't expect all the getting to matter. I just don't. I'm sure in the anime, they get more development, more like time. There's a ton of filler in the anime, as I understand. I never watched it, but I'm sure they get their moments there. But in this manga, in a monthly format, I just don't expect that. But this, we just need more than Baruto, Naruto. Uh, whatever, you know, Otsutsuki are, are alive or Divine Tailed Beast, um, Ida and Sarda and maybe Sasuke. Like, we just need more than like the big dogs to get some moments, you know? This is just, to me, this is cool. Like, this, this should be, if you are thinking like, this could be a really good series, and I mean, a really good series, these are the moments you need. You need more than just like the, the moments of Baruto, like, Rasengan, rotational, whatever, to code. That's cool. That's very cool. It looked cool. I loved it. But, like, you need more than that to make this, like, good, right? I, I like, I love this. This is, this is cute. I'm your son. That's, that's simple. And she's, like, now flipping to where her son is bored. So, and keep in mind, I've been going for 18 minutes. And we're not even, we're barely the halfway point. That's how good the writing has been. I have just, like... I, to some people's, I'm sure, like, uh, disbelief. I've gone on for, like, five minutes, ten minutes about the mitsuki Ida conversation. That's because of how good that was. That's, that's a positive. It's a positive. I'm going to hurry the hell up because I, I know you guys don't have a lot of day, but... All right. So, books. Um, he's created, like, the the Jigen or, I guess, now the um, Kawaki, like, device... To kind of teleport into. I don't think we've had two guys come this level. Well, actually, I was gonna make a, a Itachi like Kisame like thing, but like it's so many people have like ran through Kona Hall at this point that it's just like it's not even like the same anymore, right? It's, it's to to have ran through Kona Hall back when Itachi and Kisame did it was like brand making new. Like, we we had Orochimaru kind of like pretty much was like that sleeper agent that got them in there, but I mean he knows Kona Hall, right? And that was huge, obviously, like the Orochimaru part of things. But they, Itachi and Kisame were number two that we saw, like, invade Konoha. And they were brand new. Like, we've heard of Itachi, but, like, they were just dolo. Like, it wasn't a huge invasion. It wasn't like that. It's just them two came in there and said, all right, man, where the fuck is Sasuke at? One last thing. Uh, that, so, on the cloak, we have uh, Lee Dude's cloak. His has the Renegade on it. Uh, I assume it's a Renegade, at least. 
Southgate's is not. That's just something interesting to note, I guess. My my genuine belief is that like that guy is a Renegade the user taking over. But I may be wrong about that. Checking chakra signatures, one is unknown, the other is a match. It's Uchiha Sasuke. Yo. <laughs> Yo, they think that's Sasuke. That's not Sasuke. <laughs> that's not Sasuke, brother. Yo. Sas Sasuke also does not have the Tamo, like the uh he has the I say this is paths. I think it just might be the main it might just be like the main entity that is the the what was the Ten Tails. Like maybe that's just the main part of his being. Uh, self aware Ten Tails. Ooh. Holy <laughs> They uh how many fodder like <laughs> like fodder like Konoha and Ninja we just see get like just negged. Like look at this. Like he just looks at him it's like that's it. GG. That's tough. That's a tough way to go. A rare bookshop. They're gonna come in the bookshop? Are you serious? This unexpected encounter looks promising. So he's here, Uzumaki Naruto. What amuses me is, is you asking that with a straight face. He's <laughs> treating Sasuke like an idiot. Anyway, Sasuke gets jumped. Kawaki and Delta. I guess that's the unexpected counter he was talking about. Yo, they got Kawaki that easily? I'm sure I'll find a way out of it, but... Do not find it from this shop. You'll damage the treasure trove, Kawaki. So an appreciator of books. Like, he really likes books. If we think of, like, just characters... Like, I I'm still trying to, like, have the theory that, like, he took somebody over. But, like, as far as fans of books, like... Kakashi? It's like, I don't know who else it could be. I, I didn't have to think. Like, I don't know too many, like, geniuses that we have that are big names uh, and fighters um, in, in Naruto, the series. Also, I don't know any of them that have Renegon, including Kakashi, so... I don't know. Tsukuna Hikona. So he uses the shrinking ability from uh, our guy, Jigen. As I kind of suspect, he's, like, obviously on another power level than anybody else. It just made sense for him to be just transcendent, basically. But yeah, even at Karma, it looks like he's pretty much just nagging this dude. Be still, Suzuki. Yo, he did him like, uh, like Sasuke. <laughs> he put like, the same spot like Sasuke was in, right? Sasuke and Naruto, somebody was in that spot before, I don't know. Um, but yeah, damn, he just got them the fuck out of there. There you are, Uzumaki Naruto. Isn't he in a dimension? I don't understand. Like he, I thought he was in the perfect dimension of Kawaki. Who's a Maki Naruto? Who's he referring to? I don't know. I guess we'll see. But yeah, that's crazy. He just negged him. He's a Jinchuriki who bears a Biju. As an incarnation of a fellow Biju, I can sense a Biju chakra dealing with inside him. But he doesn't. He doesn't bear one anymore. The problem is that like, there's nobody else he can really be referring to. Like, I guess, I mean, Killer B, but like, I don't, does Killer B stuff? I think Killer B stuff eight tails. Other than that, it's just those two. It's Killer B and his Naruto, as I recall, anyway. Because I think like, all of them have placed their chakra and what was left into Naruto. They kind of just disappeared. Because Naruto's entrusted to be like, the head dog, the head man of the, of the tail beast after Tetsu's past talked to him, so uh, it has to either be Killer Bee or Naruto, I guess. I don't know. Even if it is Master Sasuke, don't hesitate to strike. He's hoping Boruto makes him just as much of a traitor. Don't worry, Himawari, I'll protect you. <laughs> Try to forget Himawari. <laughs> it's a nasty, nasty dude. So it is, it is Himawari. Okay, that's what I was thinking in my head, like, it can either be those two, or it could be Himawari, who's a product of Naruto. But it couldn't be Naruto. Like, it just didn't make sense for it to be Naruto. Okay. Which one is he? Was a monkey Naruto? What in the world's going on here? That's... So, th this could be gigantic. Because A, she's already got a cosign from Damon saying she's, like, incredibly powerful. Like, Damon himself, who's, like, hasn't complimented anybody 
to date of their power, complimenting Himawari when he's seen her. And we, I, I theorized this before in the video. I'm not going to go find it. It'll take forever. But like, I theorized myself that those two, two whiskers, because Naruto had three, but she had two. Those whiskers don't appear on anybody else in terms of the Uzumaki's. It's just Naruto and his Himawari. Naruto had all the tailed beasts inside of him, at least entrusted into him. He had a little bit of all their chakra up until the point, well, even after Himawari was born. So, just brainstorming here, I'm assuming that Kurama was still in Naruto, got killed, you know, using his own Baryon mode. So, Kurama's off the table. But I'm thinking that all the rest of the Biju like signatures transferred from Naruto to Himawari. Crazy idea, I get it. But that's what I'm thinking has happened. Either that or they or Naruto the thing he would never do and he sealed their chakra into Himawari. I don't think Naruto would ever do that after what Naruto went through as a kid. But that's that's the two theories. Genetic inheritance, or he sealed them inside of Naruto, uh, Himori. But we do have multiple people that are basically like now given Himori, like this isn't necessarily praise per se, but like this is like obviously the only person that, like, other than really the only person since he's gotten here that he's given a shit about him being big dog tailed beast. It's Naruto Zamaki, and he thought that that person that's on our screen, this chick right here, he thought that Himawari was Naruto, effectively. Like, he, from even wherever the fuck his dimension is at, saw the chakra of Naruto Zamaki in this person. This, this is Naruto to him. He, this has been Naruto to him. And from what we can gather, this person, at least, this divine tailed beast, is well familiar of Biju Chakra and seems to have some level of let, let's just let's just say with it I don't know if he has any real like his background with, with Naruto. I don't know if he does or not, but he at least seems to be going off of Biju Chakra. At the very least Himura has Biju in her. We don't know if it's all of the other eight tailed beast chakra in her, which would make her Ridiculous. <laughs> it would make her so OP if she had all. She had the eight. I don't know why she wouldn't have Kurama too. I don't see why she wouldn't have Kurama as well. But it makes sense if we have eight inherited eight chakra signatures from Naruto and not Kurama. That would make sense to me. So either she has. Uh, she could have what was assigned to Naruto, which was the other seven, uh, then you know, not eight tails or Naruto or nine tails you already had in him. Could be he has she has all nine in her, or it could be that she's gotten like the seven that were not already be controlled sealed into her by Naruto. All three make her incredibly powerful. Now I will say, I mean. If you, if you want to think about it, like, she's... Even if she was, like, a holder of all nine, that'd make her, like... It, that'd give her the potential, not exactly the ability, but the potential of being, like, basically Naruto, like, end of Naruto. I, I'm not I'm not trying to power scale anything like that. Like, I'm not saying she's as strong as end of Naruto she put in Naruto. Like, I'm not saying that, but, like, her ceiling is roughly that. That being, like, it was not even comparable to... To um to Ishiki. Or to Jigen. Like Jigen himself, like the, the version of Ishiki. Uh, Jigen should be like weaker than Ishiki. Jigen was stronger than those two, than Naruto and Sasuke. And that's just me saying Naruto was as strong as he was at the end of Naruto. If you watch Swag Kage, um the, the, the pedophile, um other guy, I'm not gonna mention his name, but the other guy's a pedophile, Swag Kage, uh Sis, any of these dudes. They pretty much all agree, which you don't have to agree with them, but they pretty much all agree that like 
Naruto is like stronger than where he was at the end of Shippuden. So, I mean, her her like ceiling at this moment is like like in a Nar like a weaker version of the Naruto lost to to Ishiki. So it doesn't like break the game in their favor, but it could mean a lot of different like a lot of things that happen out of this. She could become as strong as that level of Naruto. She could become even stronger with more training from. I don't know who because Sasuke is incapacitated. Naruto is like incapacitated. But what it really could mean is Naruto gets his powers back. That's what it really could mean. Which you know, some people don't want to hear that. Some people don't want to Naruto should lose his powers permanently. That that would make it a better series. Listen. We know that she has Biju Chakra. Naruto knows Biju better than anybody else. I don't know how she could give her chakra to Naruto without dying, because she needs to give to tell these two Naruto for to be a Jinchuriki again. And as we understand, other than Kushina, everybody else who's got their Jinchuriki extract is like died on the spot pretty much, more or less. Like Naruto died, well, not on the spot per se, but like Naruto, like pretty close to death there. Um. Kushina lived, you know, a good bit. Um, then she got stabbed, and then she died. Mm. Yeah, I, you know, I mean, I don't know how she could get the, the tail beast from her inside of her into Naruto, but you know, um, we're gonna end it on there. I could theorize for a while, but this was a shocker. It, this channel, just, this chapter could mean a lot. Could mean a ton going forward. We have Kurama getting plowed once again. Uh, Kurama, uh, Konoha getting plowed once again. We have uh, Sasuke Toad Beast coming into contact with Zarada. We'll see how that happens um, or what happens with that. Uh, we have Chikamaru like, completely suspicious of our guy here. Uh, basically helped Boruto escape Kawaki. Uh, we have... We'll see if Ida can be changed. Don't change her. She doesn't want to be changed. Don't change her. Uh, shout out to J. Cole. One of the big three. I don't know if it's still a big three anymore, but one of the big three, J. Cole. Um, and we just kind of culminate with, you know, just... Him Himawari being treated like Naruto Uzumaki. Kind of, kind of huge, kind of. Kind of big. Massive, I would say. Anyway, that's it. Um, I'm hype. I hope you are hype too. Time for me to go back to my Asian women and their ASMR. <laughs>